Today I'm going to show you how to download the Continuum mod for Minecraft on your PC. You're first going to want to go to the AppDefine website right here, and you're going to click Download. Once you click Download, it's going to pull up the screen, and you're going to have to just wait a couple seconds. And once you finally get to the option to skip, you're just going to skip that right there. And then, of course, you're going to click Download right there. And you're going to wait for it to download. In the bottom left, it might give you the option to keep or delete. Obviously, you're going to keep it. And then you're just going to wait for that to finish downloading. And once that's finished downloading, you're going to Google Continuum Minecraft, and then you're going to click on the Downloads option. And then you're going to download Continuum 2.0.4. As you can see, I've already downloaded it. There's a zip file right down there. And once you have that downloaded, you're just going to move on to the next step. And then once those two are finished downloading, you're going to go to your Downloads folder, locate your Continuum zip, as you can see I already screwed up. You're going to put that and the aptifying.jar file on your desktop. Next, you're going to want to hold down your Windows key plus the R key, which is going to run the run command. And then you're going to type in app data, exactly how I typed it in right here. And you're going to hit OK. It's going to pull up your roaming folder. You're going to locate your .minecraft folder. And then you're going to click on it. Inside .minecraft, you're going to go down to versions. Click on that. And as you can see, these are the versions you have currently but you don't have up to find, so you're gonna go to your desktop where you put the uh, .jar file, and you're gonna click on that, like I did right here. I'm gonna install it, and as you can see, it just popped up right there in the folder. So now you have up to find installed. Yay, it was successfully installed. Good job, you're halfway there. Now, if you had Minecraft open already before you did all this, go on ahead and close it, because if you go to versions now, you're just going to see the versions that you had before you installed this. So reopen Minecraft. Once you got that opened up, you're going to see now when you click down in the versions that you will have the Optifine option. So you're going to click on that, and then you're going to hit play. And once you hit play, it's going to load it up. After it's loaded up and you're on the main menu screen, go to Options, then you're going to go over to Video Settings. Once you click on Video Settings, you're going to go down to Shaders, and go down to the bottom left for Shaders folder, click on that. Now you're in the Shader Pack folder, and as you can see, there's nothing there. But now you're going to take the Continuum WinRAR file, the zip file, you're going to drag and drop that right on into that folder. Now once that's dragged and dropped, you can see it's right there now. Go on ahead and click on that, at least I had to click on it. And once you click on it, it's going to load it up like that. Bada bing, bada boom. Takes a couple of seconds. And you're good to go. Now got that done, done, done. Single player. I just clicked on my first save file, which is survival mode. But just for the, uh, for the video, I just wanted to get a quick look at the shader pack. As you can see, once it's loaded in, it takes a second. Boom. It is loaded up, and it's looking beautiful. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. I'm Alex with Shirley Network. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.